Hello my friends, welcome to the channel to another quick tip tutorial video and in this video I'm going to explain to you how to work with the voiceover settings. If you're doing a voiceover, you know there are some settings that you can change if you don't like the way it works or if you want to just do some adjustments. This is done very easy. So stay tuned for this video and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you find this video helpful, give it a like. If you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. All right, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have one clip on this timeline right now. As you can see, there's just some bonfire going and uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. What if I want to do a voiceover on this clip? Well, to do a voiceover, you can see there is a little microphone right against the actually beginning of the timeline. And if you click on this microphone, it's going to start recording a voiceover. As you can see, there is a countdown. And then, yeah, you can see the voice going right now. And if I want to stop it, I just click on this microphone again. You can see the waveform here. And that means that the voiceover has been successfully recorded. So now you can play it out and see how it sounds. And then, yeah, you can see the voice going right now and if I want to stop it I just click on this microphone again there we go so this has been a basic voiceover recording and of course if you want to do a voiceover recording I would suggest you mute the actual track that already exists this way it's not going to be doubling the sound it's not going to record the sound from your speakers to your micro microphone and then you're going to hear your voice plus another sound from your speakers so you don't want to hear that but there are also some settings in Adobe Premiere Pro that you can change to adjust it to suit you better the way you work. If you want to adjust settings in Adobe Premiere Pro for the voiceover recording, all you have to do is just gotta right click on this microphone and go to voiceover record settings. And let's quickly go through the settings that are available here. So first of all, you can actually see the loudness of your microphone. And this is how you can tell if it's too low or if it's too high. If it reaches up to zero decibel, which is too loud, it's going to be red in color. And this, this way you can tell that your recording is going to be too loud. If it's somewhere lower, like on the minus 24 or minus 18, this is going to be too low. And this means that you're actually going to have to add some gain to your volume. So if you don't want to do that, you might want to set it up exactly perfect at the time and then you don't have to adjust it as much. Okay, so this is the first thing. Then you can also choose the source microphone. If you have more than just one microphone available on your computer, you can choose which one you want to use. And just a heads up, if you have a webcam on your computer, it's probably going to come with the built-in microphone. And Yes, you want to make sure before you start recording a voiceover, especially if you plan to record a long voiceover, make sure you choose the source microphone. Otherwise, you might be surprised to see that you have been recording by the microphone that's been sitting 10 feet away from you and the volume was so low and the quality wasn't good like from the webcam, right? So make sure you choose the proper microphone in the source microphone. Then in the input, there are some microphones that actually have a few microphones built in into them and you can choose which one you want to use in this case i'm using a level year mic and it's a single microphone so it doesn't have any additional mics built in this means i don't have to change anything here the next setting you can change is a countdown sound cues and what it means it's actually going to make a sound countdown before it starts recording let me show it to you right now so we're just going to tick this box here and you can actually hear it this is how it's gonna sound so let's let me show you again so close and let's do another voiceover recording let's click on this microphone again yeah so you can hear that this uh, click is sometimes it's good i prefer not to turn it on because i just can see the numbers on the screen and that's that's enough for me but if you don't want to look at the screen if you just want to audibly hear the sound then yes you can do that and you can just highlight this box right here and it's going to make some sound so you can know when to start recording okay so the next one is a pre-roll setting 
what is a pre-roll? Pre-roll is actually a countdown in seconds that's gonna allow you to prepare for your voiceover, get ready. So you can also change this amount of seconds up to whatever you want. You can put 10 seconds if you like, you know, it's, but I find 10 seconds is gonna be really long. So three seconds is usually enough. If three seconds is too much, you can put two seconds. Yeah, it's gonna be only two seconds or if you don't need that at all, if you wanna start recording as soon as you click that microphone button or the hotkey on the keyboard, then you just wanna remove the stick from this box here and close it, so that's it. The setting's gonna be safe. And another setting that's also available in Adobe Premiere Pro is post roll. And what is a post roll? Post roll is actually a few seconds after you stop recording, it's still gonna be recording. This will, it will not cut out any sound in case you hit that uh, stop button too quick and you're still gonna be talking at the same time, it will allow you to record that a little bit at the end of the voiceover, so it's not gonna get cut out. And this is a good idea because lots of times when you're recording and for example, you stop recording your voiceover and you click that button too quick, there could be like a second or so that's gonna be lost and then you're gonna have to re-record your voiceover, which is not very convenient, so. And you can also set, change the number to like, 20 seconds, whatever you want to change it to, but but I think two seconds is going to be plenty. You know, you don't really need that much. I don't think you're going to click it in the 30 seconds before you finish voiceover. So this is it. These are all the settings. And as you can see, they're just located in this menu over here. This is why, you know, sometimes it's not very obvious where to find the settings for the voiceover recording. But no, this they're right here and you can click on any of these and it's going to change the settings for all of the voiceover there so they're just uh, universal you can click on any of these tracks and you're going to go to the same exact settings so yeah this is it guys i hope you like it if you find this helpful please give it a thumbs up support this video i appreciate it very much if you're new to the channel subscribe and if you have any comments or questions, always leave in the comment section below. Let me know if there was something unclear or if you still have any questions. I'll try to help you as soon as possible. So yeah, I hope you have a nice day and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.